Welcome to View by DJSBRC. I want to say thank you to Great Obbies for letting me do this. We have a different kind of video today. Uh, normally I don't do this kind of video, but why not? We have the TRX4M that came out, but we do have a little bit of upgrade side of it now. One of the first things I wanted to show, you'll be able to buy a 118 scale trailer for your TRX4M. And I did post a video saying that there is a couple of things uh, I hope they do or they would have. One of the first one I was mentioning, a light kit. They do come out, they did come out with a light kit uh, for both vehicles. Fortunately, I don't have one open. But like I said, they do have some for the Bronco and the Defender. They do have a stainless steel kit for both vehicles. Fully aluminum shocks. But you still need a spacer to adjust them. Complete aluminum link kit. And let's say you do damage your shocks. You can buy them separately. You do have a heat sink. Uh, the axles. Fully aluminum inside the housings. You have a servo mount. A little bit harder to see because of the light. You do have the stub axles, put the stub axles, but the diff output. Or these are, oh no, the drive shaft center. Uh, basically, you can remove the drive shaft, keep a, pa a plastic part, and the other one will be aluminum. You do have some brass weights for the wheels that goes inside. And you do have some spare parts for the CVDs. I'm not sure if they're plastic on the vehicle, but you can get the uh, still excess. They do sell beadlock uh, rims for it, but unfortunately they are plastic. But still, they're awesome. That they go with these guys here. In my other video, I was saying I was not sure which Sherwood was inside, but it is a, a 2065 I'm assuming it's plastic gears. You can get the upgraded one, 2065R. <clears throat> That's something I would do out of the box. Uh, there is a bearing kit. Again, I'm not sure if it's fully bearings and bushings. With Traxxas, you could be surprised. Uh, basically, metal uh, ball ends for the links. And the other thing, too, that I did not know, if you want to change your ratio in your vehicle, you could swap out the complete motor and transmission. The first one, the camera can focus. Uh, it's a 40.31 gear ratio. And the other one is 97.1 or 9.7.1, I'm not sure. That's a, still a nice, seriously, it's, what I like is just basically a drop-in. Everything built in, plug your axles to it, bolt it to your vehicle, and you're off to the races. There's another option, too, you can get. It's a stand to lay your vehicle on. That way your wheels doesn't, they just don't sit flat. And they do have some other options, too, if you want to do a little bit of bling-bling to your vehicle. They do have some, some other gears, other rims you can buy. So you got chrome and uh, black chrome. Even the diff covers, you can go uh, black chrome. There's blue. There's a couple of colors for these guys here. But, yeah, these are a little bit of the part support that will be coming from Traxxas, once these vehicles are out, you can change your bodies too. They do have uh, all the different colors. They are hard plastic. They're not in Lexan. That's one of the things I forgot to mention in my other video. But yeah, 
If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you're looking for upgrade parts for these vehicles, please visit greathobbies.com if you're in Canada for all your great hobby needs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I do appreciate it a lot.